Welcome to Solutions Studio. This is a free series on C programming language. If you like these videos, please subscribe to follow along with this series. Also, please like and leave a comment and share the video to help spread this series. Hello and welcome to this episode. We discussed the flowchart as for a switch control. As you can see, the program or the switch control starts from here, then it checks for the case A. If case A was true, it takes some course of action and when it sees the break, the switch will end here at the end. If the case A was false, it comes to case B and it checks for case B. If that was true, it will take some course of action and then it sees the break statement and the switch statement will end or else if it was false, it will continue and it will go on to check every single case that we have in our switch statement. And once it sees the very last case, it's the same as well. If it's true, it takes some course of action and sees the break and ends at the switch statement. If again, all of these cases are false, it goes to the default case and sees what is the actions for the default case takes those actions and the switch statement will end. And that is basically the flowchart for a switch control statement.